They now have the chance to listen to God's word, draw strength and hope from it, and then be connected with the rest of their fellow brothers and sisters in Christ through the TV Mass. I know from my own experience the value and the worth of the Sunday TV Mass. This is Sophie Zuluaga, a Pauline cooperator. The Church Speaks, an episode where the Holy Father, the Pope, speaks about this year as he creates the year of consecrated life. We see this hope of God most clearly in the course of the life of our Lord, the Son of God. He goes forth from his village in Nazareth to spread the good news that God is now acting definitively in human history that he is the Lord God present in human form to call each human being to make a free choice concerning himself. Do we wish to give ourselves to him in the freedom of our hearts or not? The choice is ours, and he will always respect that choice. After all, it is his gift to us in the first place. Now, those who have been called to what we call the consecrated life, the vows of religion, know this freedom in the deep sense that I've been speaking of. They know the example of Christ in choosing them calls forth from them the desire to answer in the same way. If we could use the words of St. Paul, he says, Christ who died for me and gave himself up for me, quote, calls forth from the heart of the consecrated person the desire to go and give in return. This is true freedom, as it starts from the heart more than from the mind. It is a response to a calling that transcends the mere desires of the self for comfort or for safety or for empowerment. It is a deep calling on deep. It re-echoes in the heart whenever he or she beholds the crucified. Looking upon him, our heart asks, What have I done for Christ? What am I doing for Christ? What should I do for Christ? These answers are actions based on true freedom, as they are not feeble acts of love in response to love itself. They are but feeble acts of love in response to love itself. So let me end there. I'll pick up this theme again next time. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago, Stu Anansi Santiago, APM Ad and Promo Management, Alex P. Montanez and Family, and Flocor Group of Companies, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Children, Chino Chian Casey Neng and a lot, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Quilan's Food House, Dimdi Center and Dimdi Builders, Teresita Villa Brille, T. Linau Trucking Services, iCrafter Optical Incorporated, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Chardon, Esper Laundry Services, Camper Realty Corporation, Ampi Casas and Family, Potasio Tacandong, 
Renato and Porita Lorenzo and family, attorney and Mrs. Ellie R. Britannia and family, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Mrs. Fel Yamido and family, Consolidated Plywood Industry Incorporated, Davao Bonifacio Motors, Anonymous, Friends of Paulines, Melvin Aviles, Davao LB Junk Store, Vita Rivera's Bookkeeping Services, Ideal Pawn Shop Corporation, Ramline Resources Incorporated, Great Wall Trading, Davao Diamond Industrial Supply, Mr. and Mrs. Emilio Yap Jr. and Family, and Ahensha Kimson Corporation. Offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity. This sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offerers, and volunteers of this Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring group, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Region 11, headed by Regional Director Joselin Marcos Fragada, Cezo 3. Thanksgiving intentions and blessings of the administration, staff, and employees of DENR Region 11, Victor T. Billiones and family, Cecilia Lizada, Mr. and Mrs. Eddie Resurrection and family, Fe Osmeña Gumban and family, St. Francis Shell Station, Arnold Homul and Heidi Silao. Protection and safety of all Filipino families from earthquake and calamities by Attorney and Mrs. Ruben Abarquez. Birthday intentions of Mrs. Trinidad Molina. 43 years wedding anniversary of Presi S. Evangelio. Belated wedding anniversary of Oski and Jean Grajeda and a King and Letty Tim Tim. Recovery and healing of Rudolfo, Mila Villa Abrilie, and Jermaine Chu. For the eternal repose of Luciana, all benefactors of Pauline's RTV programs, Jovito Adudang, Esteban Gumban Jr., Baby Junjun, Sedin Polo, Lucilo, and Florencia. We also pray for the 100th Anniversary Foundation of the Daughters of St. Paul throughout the world. They are now in 15 nations. Next Sunday, we will celebrate this over TV with our guest priest from Manila, Father Rolin Tutsi Flores, Society of St. Paul, with concelebrants Father Albert Bernal SSP, and Father Jerome Palma, SSP, and the Pauline family. Prayers for the sick. Father, your son accepted our sufferings to teach us the virtue of patience and human illness. Hear the prayers we offer for our sick brothers and sisters. May all who suffer pain, illness, or disease realize that they are chosen to be saints and know that they are joined to Christ in his sufferings for the salvation of the world, who lives and reigns within the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, good morning. The three readings in today's celebration speaks of sacrifice, blood, and covenant. These are related to each other. The unique relationship between God and His people in the Bible is that of a covenant. It is not just an arrangement or treaty. It is a relationship that is permanent something that cannot be easily abrogated. 
It is a relationship that is not only on the particular transaction, but rather it encompasses one's whole life. A good example for this is marriage. It is something permanent and one's whole life is engaged in it. One stakes one's whole life in this relationship. This is why the seal that formalizes the covenant is life, symbolized by the bloodshed for this particular sacrifice. In the New Testament, the covenant is more meaningful. Christ entered once and for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. To officiate the Holy Mass is Father Danny Montagna, RCJ, Rogationist Father. The choir during the Holy Mass is the Harmonic Singers of San Pedro Cathedral, Davao City. Come, let us sing joyfully and celebrate the banquet of love. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. We welcome each other today on the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, our Corpus Christi. We thank the Lord for giving us His very self, for giving us His presence. He awaits us always, and for giving the whole of Himself to us. Truly, we are grateful to His wonderful gift. As we join and gather together today, we remember our brothers and sisters and united with them, those who are sick and the elderly at home. We pray for them as we ask them as well to pray for us. Pakibati po yung makatabi niyo ng magandang umaga. Magandang umaga. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Let us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with the God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. When God first made a covenant with the Israelites at Sinai, the covenant was ratified with the blood of animals to show that God meant to share in the life and destiny of the chosen people. The first reading. From the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord, and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the Book of the Covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, All that the Lord has said, he will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you, in accordance with all these words of his. The Word of the Lord.
the new covenant mediated and ratified by Christ through the pouring of his own blood on the cross is most pleasing to the Father and effective in cleansing sin. The second reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and a sprinkling of a heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed. How much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God. For this reason, he is mediator of a new covenant. Since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant, those who are called may receive the promise eternal inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, the teacher says, where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples. Then he will show you a large upper room furnished and rendy. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, he took bread, said a blessing, broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then after singing a hymn, 
they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, and the happy solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Jesus Christ, or the Corpus Christi. Pakisabi sa kanan mo, good morning. Pakisabi sa kaliwa mo, good morning as well. No? <laughs> We welcome each other today. This is the solemnity within the ordinary season as we have already started the solemnities last week with the Holy Trinity and of course just after the Pentecost Sunday. Today all over the world, the Christendom or the Catholic Church would have its many expressions in celebrating the solemnity. Either they go to processions or adoration or prayer moment or any expression that would give us best reason and best way of making this devotion to the most sec to the holy body and blood of Jesus Christ we call it as well the Eucharist first question do you believe that this is Jesus calling us in this Eucharist wala sa mukha ninyo no kasi ang ganda niyan i was so touched with a friend who says say father danny how long you'd been in the priesthood say so go almost 21 years so 21 years, if one year is 365 days times 21 days, how 21 years, how many days, attorney? Very good. So yun ang sagot. So sabi niya, napakahaba. Pero maganda din yung crux ng Hosea, what changes in you? It took me a little time and said, perhaps my faith is little. My faith is little. That's why it did not give me much changes. Why? We go to the church. We receive communion. We say amen as well. But do we believe really this is Jesus, really Jesus, present and real Jesus who has given us his body and blood? Why? A saint would say, if truly we believe in him that he is, then a lot of changes are there in our life because we behold the very Son of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord. So, do you believe in Him? Yes. Okay. Pagbigyan ko na kayo. <laughs> o, pakisabi ka sa kanan mo, ang galing mo, you believe in Him. Sige nga. <laughs> o, sa kaliwa, pakisabi, bakit hindi ka pa nagbago? <laughs> Yun yung maganda, no? Yun yung maganda. Today, my reflection would center on that. That this is Jesus who fulfills His very promise to us. This is the Eucharist that we are celebrating every moment, every day for us priests in particular. Perhaps for you only on Sundays, or for those who are more in the service still, every day. He wanted to tell us every moment we come to the Eucharist as we celebrate His body and blood, that this is His fulfillment of the promise. What is His promise? I will never leave you orphans. What is His promise? I will be with you till the end of time. It's a beautiful promise of the Lord that even he reenacted this, he acted this one on the Last Supper, just before his death, just before that Paschal mystery of his death and resurrection, so that all of us would have him every moment of our life, every day of our existence. As we believe in him, he fulfills his promise. He is with us till the end of time. The thing is, did we fulfill his promise to be with Jesus? till the end of our time. Ah, wala. Nakakalimutan natin. O, pakita na yung kanan mo. Ilang beses mo nakakalimutan si Lord? Sige nga. O, pura ang dami, no? O, sa kaliwa, pakisabi, ilang beses mo hindi tinupad ang promise mo. Diba? Ang ganda nyo. God fulfilling His promises. Jesus fulfilling His promises. Even moving forward, He said, he who eats my flesh will never be hungry. He who drinks my blood will never be thirsty again. Beautiful promise of God. That's why like the deer that yearns, yearns for a running stream. So our life is yearning for the Lord, longing for the Lord. I'm so happy, you know, when every Sunday I see a lot of us going to the church that's yearning for the Lord. Much more on ordinary days when I see churches are filled with people. Because for me, that is a renewal, a sense of yearning for the Lord. Years back when I was in Italy, a friend, priest of mine, asked me, Danny, is it true that all over the Philippines, in every parish, there is that Eucharistic or perpetual adoration, 24 hours? Very, very, with pride, I said, yes, Father. I said, yeah, really? Are there people going there? Are you going there? 
Hmm, wala na. Ah, you see? Kung ngayon sasagawin, sayo, wala na po. <laughs> Pero that time, said, yes, Father, there are. Sayo, congratulations. Congratulations. You believe in Him. That's what I say. Philippines is blessed because you believe in Him. All over the Philippines, He is adored and glorified. So nice because we believe in Him. He fulfills His promise. Amen. And so for us to fulfill our promises as well. Are we fulfilling His promises? Our promises? Yes. Okay. Nice. No? Pangalawa, the Eucharist is a wonderful covenant of the Lord. Why? He wanted to be close to us. Simply not because close. Closest to us. That intimacy of the Lord with us. That's why He has given us this Eucharist. You know, when you are in relationship, you want to be in intimacy. For couple, it's a different. For us friends, it's different. But with Christ, it's a different intimacy as well that He wanted from each one of us that we call even covenant. Christ is inviting us to take that covenant with Him. But this is a covenant that is not yung pantaya, not equal. This is what we call in Hebrew, zuzerenty. He is the higher partner. We are the lower one, but take note, He still wanted to be with us in that covenant. What a wonderful privilege. So from fulfilling His promise, He wanted to allow us to enter into that covenant, to enter into His life. That He wanted to say, all that I have with the Father is yours as well. Why? St. Paul would say, we are His adopted son or children of the Father. And so therefore, we are brothers and sisters to Jesus. Very wonderful privilege. That's why when we come to the Eucharist, it's a beautiful affirmation that Christ has given himself to us, entering into that covenant so that we will never be lost. To the fact that he has given his body and blood for us. His blood to wash away our sins. His body so that we will have food for life eternal. Do you believe? Yes. yes. When we go to Mass, our sins are forgiven. Vinyal and part. But of course, if they are mortal, we have to go to confession. We are washed by the Lord. Apakita na yung kanan mo, nag-confess ka na. Sige nga, mamukhang wala, no? Ah. <laughs> Pero wonderful way that Jesus is inviting us to return to Him because He wanted to say, this is my covenant with you. I shed my blood for you. I offer my life for you. This is His martyrdom. Eucharist is the unbloody manner recalling of that cross which is the bloody manner on that Calvary repeated to us that He wanted to tell us I offered my life for you that you may have life. Beautiful Saint John would say, For God so loved the world, pakidagdag, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him, go, will have life everlasting. Eternal life. So do you want eternal life with Jesus? Yes. Go to the Eucharist. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes, receive Him. Receive Him with meaning and life. So at the end of the day, you will have life eternal. O, kilala niyo man uli mga katabi niyo. Sige, pag nawala, tingnan niyo kung saan pupunta. O, pakisabi sa kanan mo, ikaw ay mukhang pupunta sa langit. Sige nga. Ha, hindi kayo sure sa DNR, ha? O, pakisabi sa kaliwa mo, ikaw hanggang lanang ka lang. <laughs> diba? Our life, because of that covenant, so beautiful when the Lord has entered and allowed us to enter. Diba? Kayo sa DNR, you have your contract with the government. Tama? Contract kasi, ano lang yan eh. When it expires, tapos na. Covenant like marriage has no expiration. Our covenant with God has no expiration because of His love. Greatest love that He has for us, that He gave Himself. Unless the grain of wheat falls and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit, the Eucharist in our life. And lastly, this Eucharist, body and blood of Christ, would mean we say, body of Christ, the blood of Christ, we say, Amen. It wants us to restore every relationship that has been broken and allow brotherhood to be stronger more than ever. O, tanong, DNR, nag-aaway kayo, hindi? Ah, so, the, the communion, ha? The communion. May chismis, wala. Ah, so, the communion. Siguro nga, kayo talagang pinili ngayon, no? Kasi nga, on, the, on June, July, June 18, the Pope will have his encyclical on environment. That's beautiful stewardship of the environment. Pero it comes when we encounter Jesus and as well as our brothers and sisters. That when we come to Jesus to encounter Him with that intimacy of life, then we go out as well with that intimacy with its brother. That at the end, we recognize in each other the greatness of that face and the beauty of that face. 
beholding each other as the face of the Lord. That when we say body of Christ, amen, then we God say, you are the body of Christ as well. And I believe in you that you are a bringer of the presence of God. Papakisabi nga sa kanan mo, you are the body of Christ. Papakidagdag, mukhang mataba na. No? <laughs> the, the body of Christ that we believe in, the, body of, the blood of Christ that we drink, that we have come to believe, and that to recognize each one as that bearer as well of the body and blood of Christ. Beautiful when we go to the Eucharist, it means we reaffirm our love to Him, but going out, we reaffirm as well our love for each other, brother and sister that we have for the sake of the Lord. May that Eucharist deepen our life and horizon. May this Eucharist come as well as our moment of affirming our faith. May this Eucharist come to deepen our covenant with God and to fulfill our promises as well. Amen. Together we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was spirit. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended to heaven, and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Let us pray to God our Father that our Eucharistic celebration may truly be a sign of unity, brotherhood, and sharing in Jesus' name. With confidence we pray, Lord, unite us in your love. Lord, unite us in your love. May the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and deacons, Proclaim by their lives the meaning of the sacred mysteries they celebrate, we pray. Lord, Lord unite, unite us in your love. May the body and blood of Christ heal all divisions among the Christian churches and bind them together in love and service so that one day all may sit as one at the Eucharistic table, we pray. Lord, Lord unite, unite us in your love. May consecrated men and women grow in faith through service and be credible signs of God's presence to others. We pray. Lord, unite us in your love. May the hearts of believers respond generously to the hungry and may governments and corporations work to bring food to those who need it most. We pray. Lord, unite us in your love. May all our departed brothers and sisters come to share the joy of everlasting life, we pray. Lord, unite us in your love. May our RTV sponsors, benefactors, and friends receive all the blessings from the resurrected Christ as they continue to live their Christian life, we pray. Lord, unite us in your love. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. God, our Father, you have called us together in this Eucharist to thank you for this sacrament of our salvation. Help us to worship you with lives poured out in loving service for the sake of our brothers and sisters, through Christ our Lord.
Bless to you, Lord God, the full creation of goodness. We have this wine to offer, fruit of the fine and fork of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is the right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with His Apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, He offered Himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nursing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that based in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities before here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels Cry out and without and we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered will into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, so he poured out for and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, begun to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Romola and George, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Hannibal and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs with in a life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. To the Father, we pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we are always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said their apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. As the last part we had reflected, the Eucharist should bring us closer to each other, and so therefore it should be also healing of our woundedness and pain, restoring broken relationship, and truly we adore and we praise Jesus present. Let us restore our sense of brotherhood and being sisters to each other by giving each other the sign of peace. Yeah. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that it should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in the chair in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Before the final blessing, we'd like to thank our sponsors, especially the ENR Region 11, for taking time to be with us. My conviction is only love, true lovers of the Eucharist a real DNRs. So when you love the Eucharist, you will protect our environment in the best way that you can. Amen. 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 So let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> and to all who make this day wonderful and meaningful as we advance our greetings to all the sisters of the St. Paul on the occasion of their 100 years foundation anniversary. Palakpakan po natin sa sister. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.